two, one. <laughs> oh, okay. It, you can't, only one person can, because it says I have to uh, ask permission. Okay, go ahead. Okay. <laughs> Sorry. That's okay. So um, we're here today to talk about our total home upgrade um, and ditching those toxins out of your house. Amen. <laughs> yes, amen. So um, I am going to give a little bit of a disclaimer. I am not a doctor, neither is Stephanie, so we cannot diagnose, prescribe, treat, or cure any type of illness or condition. Um, we just use a good bit of common sense. So, Absolutely. <laughs> yeah. So as you may have gathered by now, um, we're going to talk about a lot of bad chemicals and how to get rid of them. Uh, so let's accept the challenge and let the journey towards wellness begin. Yes, I love this class. This is one of my favorite classes to teach. <laughs> yes, I do too, um, because there's so much that we that I never knew before I started Young Living. And so um, this is incredibly important to me. And I think it is to a lot of people. Uh, they just don't know. So um, I have to admit, like when I started Young Living, I did not start Young Living because of anything with non-toxic living. I actually just came into it because of oils. So it took me quite a while to really learn all this information. You know what I mean? I'm glad that we have these classes now that right. people can grow faster, you know? Absolutely. Absolutely. So, well, I think a lot of us would agree that home is where the heart is. Um, there's no place like home or home sweet home. We hear those phrases a lot. Um, our home is a safe haven for many of us, um, a place for creating memories, spending time with loved ones, and truly relaxing and being ourselves. Um, everyone wants the best for their family, uh, but you have, but have you ever considered um, the fact that items in your home could be making you sick? The average American home is filled with hidden toxins and familiar products that are actually poisonous and harmful. These are the products that we grew up using or our moms used and probably our grandmothers used, um, but we never knew that they could be poisonous or harmful. So whether you're aware of them or not, these hidden toxins are wreaking havoc on our wellness um, of us and our family, our loved ones. So it's kind of sobering to realize the real, very real effects uh, these misleading products have on our health. But it's empowering to use this knowledge and we can take control. This is something we have complete control over in our homes. Uh, so in tonight's class, we're going to outline three simple steps to upgrading from a toxic home to a total young living lifestyle. Awesome, awesome. Yeah, so the three simple steps. Um, just to let you know, my name is Stacy Armstrong. You kind of see it there in the little window. Um, and Stephanie is with me. Stephanie Stortz is with me. Um, and so we're going to kind of just guide you right through these three steps. Um, <clears throat> so step number one is to identify the harmful products being used in your home. Uh, one thing that I like to use is um, there's an app that's called Think Dirty. Um, that you can use to help identify uh, some of the harmful um, products that we have. So, um, I don't have you used it, Stephanie? I've, I've used it some. Yes, uh, I think it was funny because when I first started, I watched a video on YouTube called 10 Americans by the EWG. That's who yes. is behind the Think Dirty app. And that's how I got started with that app was because I saw that where they took blood from like 10 Americans and they found um, chemicals and pesticides and all kinds of things in even the um, newborn child's blood test. And so that was just such an eye opener to me that, um, that I did start using their app. I started reading more on their website. So that is actually how, yes, I did get started transforming my home. Okay. Okay. Well, um, just a little bit before we actually go into all three of these steps. Um, so let me, let me just tell you about why I am so passionate about using the ingredient savvy products and why sticking with a company that has high standards is so important to me. Um, the average modern day household uses hundreds of toxic chemicals each day. Um, a large percentage of them before you even walk out the door in the morning. These toxic chemicals are hidden away in the ingredients of our all-purpose cleaners, our laundry products, uh, shampoo, conditioner, air fresheners, 
body wash, facial cleansers, hand soaps, moisturizers, everything, makeup. It just, it, they're in, they have weeded their way into our lives everywhere. Um, so, so many hidden toxic ingredients, and most of them are things that we use every single day. Um, new evidence that directly connects our daily toxin exposures in common household products um, to so many health concerns is being gathered all the time. Uh, the fact of the matter is that modern families are in the midst of a health crisis and they have no idea that they're in the midst of a health crisis. Um, and these toxic concoctions are contributing to the problem. So we need to open our eyes. Now that I'm aware, I am committed to making better choices for me, myself, my family, and anybody that I meet. We are definitely worth it. Uh, so Young Living is near is pretty close, is pretty probably as close to a one stop one stop shop that you can find these days. Uh, uh, when it comes to lifestyle changing changes that we are implementing. Switching to Young Living's high quality, long lasting, safe products has been a wonderful experience for me and my family. Even my husband is really getting into it. Um, Good. <laughs> yeah, I think I think he's probably more into that than the oils, even though he loves the oils. He really is into this kind of stuff. So um, it's just been a wonderful, wonderful experience. Um, I love that these important swaps are really easy to do. Um, and you, you, there's different ways that you can do it. Now, if you're like me, you can go through everything under your sink and get rid of everything at one time, or you can do it slowly as things run out, you replace things. So there's, there's no right or wrong way to do it. Um, each time you swap something out though, you're making your family and yourself healthier each time you swap something out. So, yeah, I want to kind of interject real quick. Sure. I hope I don't steal any of what you're going to talk about, but I think it's, I know when I went to beauty school, even one of the things they talked about was women generally put 80 synthetic uh, chemicals on their face by the time they leave the house in the morning and mm -hmm. you touch 300 synthetic harmful chemicals by the end of the day. And I think that was just such an eye opener that as a woman, especially, we are really exposing ourselves more than the average person. And I also think the thing that concerns me is how much greenwashing goes on in everyday products like at big box stores where they're like, oh, this is a green product. When, you know, when I switched to Thieves Cleaner, you know, I could wash my fruits and vegetables with them and eat it, you know, if I had to, you know, and my son like sprayed himself in the face with Thieves Cleaner one time and he was like totally fine. Or I had a, a member who got her little girl got it in her eye and she was like totally fine. And I think that's where there's this misconception that, oh, well, I use green cleaners, but I don't think people understand what a true plant-based cleaner really is. I mean, legitimately plant-based that you could pretty much eat it and be okay. Do you know what I mean? Not that we're advocating eating your thieves cleaner, but I'm just saying that you could mm -hmm. touch it to your skin and not wear gloves and you're fine to, you know, that's one of the things that was kind of mind blowing for me at first and how inexpensive it was to switch to that cleaner. Right. It's not expensive. Right. You know? <laughs> well, yeah. And you know, some, it just, just the thought of switching everything can kind of seem daunting a little bit, right. but it's really, it's really simple. Um, it is. <laughs> it's, it's just learning what's in your home that's making you, that could be making you sick and replacing those with self, safe and healthy alternatives. Um, it, it's just a mindset like people that are on diets. That was one thing that I found on different diets that I was in. The ones that I was changing my lifestyle worked a lot better than anything else. And so it's, it's just a mindset and getting, um, you know, just changing things. So, and fully embracing the young living life. Yeah. Uh, yeah, it really is. So. So anyhow, okay, so we have three steps. The first one is identify. Um, the second one is replace the toxins, um, the toxic products with safe and effective alternatives from a source that you trust. And that's really important. It's got to be from a source you trust because they are really sneaky these days and how to get toxins and stuff in without letting you know that they're putting toxins in, in different companies. So, um, and then, the third step is lifestyle, implement a lifestyle of wellness, purpose, and abundance by taking full advantage of your lung, young living membership. 
So what's the big deal? Um, toxins. Are they really making us sick? Um, it's easy to see why so many people are skeptical, skeptical about the uh, detrimental long-term and even short-term effects that toxins have on our health. After all, if these ingredients are truly detrimental to our health, um, how do they end up in our common, commonly used products? Uh, it's solid logic until you dig a little bit deeper. I hope that the information covered in this class is eye-opening. It, it definitely was for me. Um, but more than anything, I hope you're inspired to take it upon yourself to research what's in your home and start making informed decisions. Um, most of us probably that are watching this are, are women. There will be some men. But we are the ones that are the gate the gatekeepers to the health in our in our home and so that we need to do the research to keep our family safe um, it's a shame that the standards uh, for what's allowed in our products is so low but in the end we choose what we expose others to in our house um, so put your detective hat on and today is the day to say no more did you know <clears throat> did you know and this is kind of where we're going to go into some of the stuff that stephanie was talking about too but the word dis-ease is an imbalance in the body so women um typically will come into contact with like like stephanie was saying a couple hundred uh chemicals before they even walk out their front door where men, it's kind of, they're a little bit less. They don't put makeup and stuff on, so it's about 80. But in 1960, breast cancer was 1 in 20. Today, it's 1 in 8. That's about a 12% difference, and that's, that is huge. Uh, one, thing that, one thing that I think my first ditch and switch, uh, one fact that kind of stuck in my head is about our food sources. Our food sources are depleted. Uh, if you would take an orange that our grandparents ate, um, it would, in order to get the nutrients and the benefits of that orange, you would have to eat eight oranges in comparison to their one orange. And that's what I mean by the by our food sources are completed. We have done enough damage to the earth and to um, our food that it is not helping us anymore. And so you need to to find a way to supplement that. Um, and we do have a wonderful supplements class uh, to help with that. I'm not gonna get into that as much today um, since there is a class on that. But um, also, did you know in the 1970s, over 80,000 chemicals were grandfathered in, but were never tested for safety. That's a lot of chemicals. Um, 17,000 of those 80,000 don't have to be listed at all on the back of your containers. Um, the Environmental Working Group, or the EWG, did a study, um, which I think this is, was really interesting to me. Um, they, they did a study on 300 industrial pollutants and umbilical cords of 10 babies. And they found that out of those 300 industrial pollutants, 287,000 were found in the umbilical cord or I'm sorry, 287 were found in the umbilical cord. So that was almost all of them. That's kind of scary. Um, and then the word fragrance can house up to 3,000 chemicals and they can call it their trade secret. Um, they don't have to tell you what it is. And that, that in itself is really, really scary. So Yeah, I think that was a, definitely an eye-opener. I mean, out of like... 1400 chemicals that they've banned in the european union i think 11 of them are banned in the u.s yes, <laughs> so yes. it's just unfair i just feel like our government doesn't do as good of a job protecting us and i think in light of recent circumstances that's become more and more evident to the average american <laughs> it is and we've become their guinea pigs it's it yes it's just really scary <laughs> right so. for big business especially yeah yeah okay so we're gonna talk a little bit about greenwashing it's really encouraging, though, that more and more people are becoming aware of the risk of toxins um, that they encounter on a daily basis. Um, but unfortunately, some of the 
chemical companies have also caught on to this. Um, so it's obvious why green cleaners have such an appeal. Um, the household cleaning industry has caught on to it and has responded, responded in full force with product lines that claim they are natural. These products are labeled green and all natural, or they might have a little leaf on it um, for marketing reasons and often cost about 20 to 30% more uh, than the than regular products. So you're trying to make good decisions. So you buy the cleaning agent that touts plant-based or all natural, but most of the time, these products actually contain the same harmful chemicals that they did before. This practice is called greenwashing, misleading marketing to make products appear safer, and an estimated 95% of products are guilty of this practice. That is nearly all of them, and that, that's just scary. So all natural and green doesn't necessarily mean non-toxic. Many natural occurring chemicals such as arsenic, mercury, formaldehyde, they're all poisonous. It can be overwhelming to think about all the toxins to which we're exposed to. Um, it just, it, it kind of is very creepy to me. So while it may not be possible to avoid all toxins in our lives, there are plenty of ways to significantly reduce your family's exposure um, through just simple lifestyle changes. Just just kind of a helpful tip, there is no regulation on the word natural. This can mean that some of the products ingredients come from natural sources, but manufacturers aren't required to disclose how much or little of those ingredients are present. The term natural can mislead consumers into thinking a product is safer or more um, environmentally, environmentally friendly than it actually really is so learn to read your labels that's one thing when i was dieting to learn to read your labels and when i started reading the labels on the products under my sink i i just scared me you know, a lot of times you can't even pronounce half the words that are on them so um <laughs> i've always been taught if you can't pronounce it it's probably not good for you so just kind of be wary of the product claims that they put out there all right so step one uh, now that you know that all the talk about toxins isn't just hogwash. Um, let's move on to some practical action steps. First thing you should do is educate yourself. Educate, educate, educate yourself. Um, learn about ingredients to avoid and train yourself to read the labels. Label reading can be trick a tricky business. So did you know that, um, well, yeah, that Stephanie just told us about the harmful chemicals um, that were banned in other countries, but there are, uh, most of them were not banned here. So um, ingredients in cleaning and personal care products are not listed in the order of quantity. It's not like food where um, when you read a label, whatever on food, whatever's the top ingredient is what's most in that food, right? It's not that way with um, cleaning supplies and, and chemicals and um, stuff. So. Uh, the ones that are known to be the most hazardous um, don't necessarily need, need to be at the top of the list. <laughs> so considering how few chemicals are actually banned in the U.S., there's little to no regulation regarding the harmful chemicals in our products. So where does one begin to tackle this dilemma? Um, familiar thought. So Familiarize yourself with the bad ingredients. Know what they are. Reading labels with long, unpronounceable ingredients might be a little daunting at first, but a quick online search can reveal lots of cautions and warnings. Um, you'll find that many common ingredients are carcinogens, endocrine disruptors, respiratory irritants, you know, the list goes on and on. That Think, Think Dirty app is really good for this step. Um, I think a lot of times you can just scan the, the label and it'll actually come up and tell you how toxic it is. All right, so out with the old and in with the new. The old is familiar, I know, the old is convenient, but the health and longevity of your family is the most important. So we have identified the problems and now it's time to replace the household toxins with alternatives that are not only safe, but play an active role in supporting our body systems as we work towards 
improving our wellness and our vitality. So Young Living Essential Oils and Essential Oil Infused Products are the perfect solution. We call this process Ditch and Switch. Ditch the toxic garbage and switch it out with Young Living products. Uh, revamping your entire home might seem a bit overwhelming, but you'll find that you actually enjoy every step of the journey with Young Living Alternatives. I absolutely hate cleaning my house, but when I started making things on my own from Young Living products, it was a little bit more fun. I wouldn't say cleaning is still fun to me, but it's a little bit more fun because it's stuff that I actually made. Um, and so I, I, I think that's why I like it just a little bit better. So take uh, the second step is to take a look at the list of products that you and your family use. You will likely identify unsafely, unsafe products that you spend money on every month. So we're going to show you how to transfer that money to upgraded healthy alternatives. This is referred to as transfer buying. Provided is a link, um, I, I actually usually put this in um, my, when you come to the event, but I'll give you the, uh, the link here. It's actually seed and soul total home upgrade um, is the link that you wanna go to. Um, that it's, it's provided to, it's kind of a handy tool to help with the transfer buying. Um, and this is a great list of knowing what to change and how and what to change it with. Um, okay, and so, let's see. so if you're feeling convicted to make some changes right away, here's what you can do to start on your toxic um, free home journey today. See. Let me take just a break. Steph, did you want to um, add anything to anything I've said sure. so far? Sure. I think another big thing that was huge for me when I started switching out was watching the movie Stink on Netflix. And just, I think that anybody who watches that video really is never the same after you watch that and understanding, you know, that corporations really just, I mean, they're not regulated with the stuff. They're not, they don't, some of them just don't even care. Some of them that do, like, even when you, like, when you contact them, they're uneducated. Um, I think that was another thing that was concerning that they really couldn't give answers to the guy in the, in the documentary. And so I think it's super important to understand, like, I just can't stress enough with Young Living products how when I got my first lavender lotion, I remember opening it and thinking, like, uh, I don't know that I can do this because I was so used to fragrance. I was so used to the big yellow dot sale at that one store at the mall that you know they would have their lotions on sale and i would go in and and not only that but their candles and things like that but when i started making the switches then i literally could not go back in those stores or go back um back you know to i couldn't without getting migraines without feeling sick even when i walk down the, the aisle the cleaning aisle or near the cleaning aisle in a big box store now i feel like my allergies start or by, but my the irritants i should say they're not a true allergy but the irritants just get i'm like sneezing i'm coughing um it's amazing and i've had so many countless members tell me the same exact thing they'll say I can't even go in those stores anymore. I can't walk by that aisle anymore because I think it's similar to people who stop smoking. I, the people who can't stand cigarette smoke are usually the people who've been smokers more so than the people who've never smoked. And I think it's because when you've gotten away from something to go back to it, you don't realize how drastically it smells or whatever. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So I think, I think that's been a big, a big thing for members when they stop it is when they start really realizing when they get around it again, how bad it really was. Absolutely, absolutely. Okay, so um, if you're already a Young Living Wholesale member, um, let's get that taken care of right now. Having access to the best essential oils on the planet and all the benefits that come with Young Living membership, it, it was a game changer for me. I am, I'm assuming it was for you too, Stephanie, right? So it was yeah. the best decision I ever made. So if you aren't familiar with the membership pro, um, process, I'm gonna touch on that a little bit later. Um, Can I share one more thing? Sure, <laughs> Sorry. sure. I, I do want people to understand too, like I came into Young Living as like a coupon blogger. I was into getting freebies and I was all about saving money. And I want people to understand that the struggle is real when you first get started and you think, 
oh my gosh, this is going to be more expensive or I'm not going to, you know, but I think once you get into Young Living products and you see how you can hack certain things or like our, our hair conditioner lasts forever, literally. Okay. Um, I think that's the first concern that people have is the cost of switching. And I, I think it's good to reassure everybody at this point that, you know, those fears are, are legitimate, but mm -hmm. we have learned ways around hacking products to make them last even longer so that you're not, you know, uh, breaking the budget or anything. And so once you start replacing these items in your budget, you should find that it does, it, this has not added anything to my budget. I have been able to do Young Living over time and have completely been able to afford it. And I'm yeah. super frugal, so I just want them to know that. Well, and I think the initial cost is a little daunting at first, but you really do save money after you get started. And in the long run, in the long term, you really do save money. Um, so, Especially once you start using your points. <laughs> yes, absolutely. So um, if you're a Young Living Essential um, or a Young Living member, um, are you on the essential rewards program? So that's kind of what we're going to talk about now is, um, actually I'll, I'm going to, I'm going to go into that a little bit later, but the pro the program is a no brainer for any, for anyone, for me, um, who wants to impl implement a healthy lifestyle. Um, the convenient monthly orders are just, they're just a great way to strategically switch out our toxins in our home while being rewarded with the points and the promos and stuff. Um, for your purchases, how often do you, are you? How often do you go into a grocery store and they say, "Hey, if you buy this, we're going to give you a, just as much for free"? How often does it happen? Uh, I don't think I've ever been to a grocery store where they've told me that. <laughs> no. So, um, and then you know, another baby step is spread the word. This information is extremely important. Your friends and family need to know the truth about these toxins. So help them implement the changes with you. It, when you're doing it as a group, I know my sister, well, pretty much my whole family um, is into Young Living. And so we do this as a, as a family, as a group. Um, and it actually is fun and, and we actually enjoy it, especially coming up with new things. So um, everything's easier when you do it with your friends and your family too, I think. So help them sign up for a Young Living uh, membership, link arms, and ditch and switch for the good. Um, the next baby step is to stick around for the rest of the class because we've got some great tips. Um, and start keeping a wish list. Uh, it helps you keep track of the items that you need uh, to add to your next essential rewards order. All right, so step two. When it comes to replacing the toxic things in your home with safe and healthy alternatives, Young Living Seed to Seal Promise makes this next step simple. There's no need to stress over ingredients and confusing labels. The Seed to Seal Promise is priceless. It's full of ingredient disclosure and standards you can trust. The rigorous quality control starts with the seed and continues through every stage of production, including cultivation, distillation, and bottling. Um, Young Living owns their own global farms, and they work jointly with the farmers and extensively test every oil and product to ensure that it is the highest quality available. Um, you can rest easy. Um, I do go over seed to seal just a little bit more in my oils class. Um, but you can rest easy knowing that you can trust this company. If you have any questions, go to www.seedtoseal.com. Um, it does explain it just a little bit more. So when we think of chemicals in our home, our minds immediately go to cleaning agents, right? So these are the harsh sprays and scrubs that might be convenient, familiar, and fresh smelling, but they're they are so bad for our bodies. Most of these cleaners have warnings and instruct you to wear gloves and a mask when using. Um, your safest bet is to never, just don't bring them into your home again. Um, these household cleaner though is an amazing first purchase. This was my first purchase after I got my oils kit. Um, I, I purchased Thieves things and I'll tell you, I keep probably four bottles under my sink at a time because I never want to run out. We have, from the time that Buffy and I started sharing Young Living locally, we have always given a free spray bottle to anybody that comes to one of our classes because we believe in the product so much. We feel like this has got to be in the hands of every family. 
Right. Well, and it, it just, it replaces dozens of toxic cleaners. <laughs> right. it, it is a no brainer <laughs> to me. Um, right. but it's plant-based and it's essential oil infused concentrate. Concentrate is safe, affordable, and incredibly effective. I think, was it someone on your team, Stephanie, that had actually, I think their kid had swallowed some or. Oh yes. Um, that was my son. He brushed his, uh, he stuck the toothbrush, the dirty, toothbrush I was using to clean the refrigerator under the refrigerator and stuck it in his mouth and was totally fine. <laughs> right. Right. So, um, it's just, and it's, and it's effective. Um, I, I'm amazed every time it works. I, I don't know why I, I know it's going to, but I'm just amazed when it does. So, um, so depending on the dilution ratio it, that you use, um, this is, this household cleaner will cost you around about a dollar a bottle. Um, because I believe it makes about 30 to 40 16 ounce spray bottles if you're using it as a household cleaner. Now, if you're obviously if you're diluting it less, it's going to take a little bit more. But um, it's just it, for this bottle. For you, I don't think you can buy anything that's effective for a dollar or less. Right, <laughs> right. You, you really cannot. So right. um, you're just going to love this product. I I have fallen in love with it. And I absolutely love the scent. The, the thief scent um, is incredible. So, so um, you can use this cleaner instead of your all purpose, all purpose cleaning sprays, your window cleaners, your tile cleaners, your upholstery cleaners, your bathroom surface sprays, mopping solutions, cleaning paste, stain removers, carpet shampoo, degreasers, and the list. I, I think I, every single um, surface in my house, I can use this little bottle in one way or another. So it's just amazing. All right. So what is these? And this this is probably one of my my favorite stories because I am a Renaissance person and and uh, we actually have a shop at a Renaissance fair. So this legend is incredible to me. Um, I'm going to kind of let you read down there a little bit about it, um, but it, it just it dates back to the bubonic plague. And so the, these thieves put these herbs and um, concoction together, the, you know, the blend, the clove, lemon, cinnamon, bark, rosemary, eucalyptus, um, put them together, put them, put it all over their bodies. And they went out and robbed the dead and dying um, corpses and never caught the bubonic plague. So um, I think this legend, I go into a little bit deeper in my oils class, but that's kind of the gist of it. And it, it's just incredible. Um, so we're going to talk a little bit about bioaccumulation. Bioaccumulation is the process by which our bodies accumulate toxins faster than they can eliminate them. Um, many chemicals are deemed safe in small quantities for single uses, but these can be harmful over time. Um, and so that's one thing that we want to make sure that we do not do is accumulate all these toxins in our body over time. You want to get rid of the toxins. So I mean, we did that as kids because we grew up with all these toxins that were, you know, we didn't know any better. Our parents didn't know any better. Um, but now we know better. So we need to do better for our kids. So I added a couple of recipes. These are um, two of my favorite recipes. Um, one is what we talked about, taking a 16 ounce spray bottle, put a cap full of thieves in it. Voila, you've got um, an all purpose cleaner that I use on many, many surfaces in my house. Um, but the thieves soft scrub is also um, one of my favorites that I use in like the tub, the toilet, the, the sinks and stuff. Um, so I'm going to let you, well, the best way to do this is just take a picture with your phone of these recipes and then you've already got them. Okay. Some of those, some of the girls in our groups have some amazing recipes too of stuff that they've just accumulated yeah. over the years, like the DIY bleach, like the non-toxic bleach, you know, those kind of things. But the soft scrub is a huge one that people love. <laughs> I actually, I add just a little bit more thieves and um, the Castile soap because I like mine a little bit smoother. I don't like it crumbly. So I just, you, you kind of play around with what you like and what works for you. Yep. Yeah. All right. Fragrance. I never knew this. Every time I looked at something, I thought, ah, 
of fragrances probably smells good, right? Well, let me tell you a little bit about fragrance. Fragrance could be one of the most dangerous wor words in the English language um, when it's found on an ingredients list. The word fragrance or perfume may actually refer to a blend of many undisclosed ingredients all bundled up under one umbrella or under one word. Um, in order to protect trade secrets, um, fragrance gets a free pass from full disclosure. That's scary. They can house up to 3,000 chemicals in that one little word, and they don't need to tell you about it. Um, this is an outdated regulation designed to conceal ingredients from the eyes of you. Um, so now does, the, it now does the same for consumers who are inclined to scan labels for harmful ingredients. So you can scan your labels, but if it says fragrance, you're not going to know what fragrance includes. And actually, in 2015, the International Fragrance Association released a master list of more than 3,999 chemicals used by most manufacturers. And that, that list includes carcinogens, endocrine disruptors, uh, reproductive toxin, uh, toxicants, and numerous allergens, just to name a couple. Um, a fragrance can be made up of a combination of these harmful chemicals that are absorbed rapidly when inhaled and when they come into contact with our skin. So why, we, why do we question why our allergies are worse now? Um, I'd never, as a kid, had allergies, and now my allergies are crazy, and every year it gets worse and worse and worse, and we wonder why. Well, this would be why. This could be one of the reasons why. I'm sure there's more, but I'm, this, is, this is just one. So trashing your favorite scented products like lotions and candles and wax melts, air fresheners, um, that might be a sacrifice at first. It was for me. Um, it almost made me cry to put my scentsy stuff in the trash can, but I didn't want to give it to anybody else either. So, um, so it is a sacrifice at first. But trust me when I say you will not regret tossing those things out. Um, this tr transition is simple with essential oils because I'll tell you what, the fragrances of these essential oils are amazing. Um, they're, of course, essential oils are much more than just scents, though, um, which I think is one of the reasons why I love them so much. Um, but fortunately, they smell really good. So let's get rid of the scented toxins and start experience, um, experimenting with your diffuser. Um, the aroma combinations are endless. I'm still coming up with new ones, and it's encouraging to know that these scents are not only safe, but they actually benefit your body when you inhale them. And there's another thing that you can actually take a picture of, um, of two different ways to change out the scent in your home. There's a diffuser blend and a room spray. I'll give you just a second to do that. I actually have the story that I like to tell in this class about my son who was addicted to Glade air freshener and he would literally spray it so much that when you walked in the room, you could taste it. <laughs> and that was one of the very first things that we got rid of when we started ditching and switching was it's just so cheap. Out, it, like first was these cleaner, then were all the room sprays. So mm -hmm. you just buy that little glass bottle and you throw it in a bathroom with some distilled water and witch hazel. And it's so easy to make. And you don't ever have to buy air fresheners again. You know what I mean? Right. <laughs> I don't. I don't. I absolutely, I, I, that's probably one of, especially around Christmas times, one of my favorite things is coming up with different room sprays that I can make and pillow sprays and linen sprays and, you know, everything. So, mm -hmm. yeah, it's kind of fun. It, it's, it's never a science person, like in school, that was probably my worst subject. But sitting there and just concocting, it's just, it's just fun. It's just really fun. It is. Oh. Okay, so making over your bathroom should be high on your priority list. Everyone here uses at least some of these products every day, often multiple times a day. Most people expose themselves to hundreds of dangerous chemicals before they even leave the house in the morning. A huge selection of personal care products from Young Living makes ditching the bathroom junk 
an easy transition. This was probably one of the easiest transitions for me. Um, some of the many oil-infused Young Living products to consider switching to um, include that list there. Deodorant, lotion, shampoo, can do, I'm gonna, you can read it, so I'm not going to read down through it. But um, One of the biggest things right now, being in the middle of summer, is switching out the stuff we use outside. The insecticide, the sunscreen, um, which we have hacks for, which are incredible and really, really work. So really ha um, happy about that. Okay. And then there is our makeup. Did you know that Young Living has a beautiful line of mineral-based makeup that uses only clean, safe, and nourishing ingredients? You no longer have to sacrifice your health to indulge in high-end beauty products. Treat yourself to some new makeup. Um, I am switching mine out as we speak, so you won't be disappointed. Savvy Minerals is by Young Living is formulated without the use of talc, bismuth, parabens, phthalates, petrochemicals, non nanoparticles, or synthetic fragrances, colorants, or fillers. Instead, you will find only natural derived ingredients, um, such as pure Young Living essential oils, high quality color rich minerals, aspen bark um, extract, mica, uh, these are just a few. Um, one of my favorite stories is how the um, one, one of my favorite Young Living stories is how the makeup came about. Um, Gary L Young was standing with his wife, Mary, and they were talking about, um, you know, all of the, the non, getting the toxins out and the non-toxins. And he's like, yeah, but our ladies are all wearing makeup, which is full of toxins. And um, so we need to do something about that. And Mary's like, yeah, you're not going to be able to do that. And but when Gary set his mind to it, he did it and that's how we came up with or how he came up with savvy minerals um so do you need still need some uh, and, and persuasion? Of, I, I don't know, if you know this. Go ahead. sorry i didn't mean to interrupt you guys okay. what i wanted to tell you is um actually what this was a little uh couple years ago so it's a little pre to some of our members there mm -hmm. was a, a leader in our company she was a diamond her name's melissa pepping mm -hmm. and she loved makeup so much that she went to Italy and, and like basically studied at, with this like fr like Italian brush maker and she had her own makeup line mm -hmm. developed um, and Young Living members would go and buy her makeup and because this was before Young Living had Savvy, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. And so they actually purchased um, Savvy Minerals from Melissa and Young Living took over her entire company. So wow. that's the thing about Savvy is that it was member led. Mm -hmm. that in other words, that Young Living, when Gary set out to do that, they already knew that Melissa had done all the footwork and all the groundwork, and they believed in Savvy, and, and she, she was honored, really, <clears throat> to have you know, Young Living take over her. She was just tickled pink. You should have, like, when they announced that, that was huge at convention. I think they had fireworks. But anyway, <laughs> so that's what I wanted to say is, like, it's, like, that's one of the best things about Savvy is that we members pushed Young Living to adopt Melissa, in fact, I remember a convention before that came out thinking, well, they're not going to get into makeup because Melissa does a lot of the makeup that we use. Mm -hmm. And here they bought M Melissa's makeup from her. So I didn't know if you knew that, but go ahead. I didn't. <laughs> That's actually pretty neat. That is okay. actually really neat. So, <laughs> okay. So, um, warm laundry straight from the dryer smells so fresh and clean, but it could possibly be cancerous. Um, it, it, it's that's just a scary thought that might sound extreme but if you're buying your laundry detergent and softeners from the store there's a good chance they could can contain carcinogens and carcinogens are what cause cancer so on average laundry detergent pr pr products emit 17 toxins that go unlisted on labels and potentially cause problems such as skin irritation neurological damage and cancer. Um, this was one of the things that was super, super important to me because my husband, I, there were certain, um, I had to use high end laundry um, detergents and softeners for him because he breaks out in hives really bad. His, his skin is super sensitive to, to, to things like that. Um, and so I, I was a little leery at first, 
to try to change, but we have been using um, the Thieves Laundry Soap for, I think, nine to ten months now, and he it, he's been wonderful with that. So um, here's some tips to make your laundry room and the clothes you wear every day much safer. So first, the, the Thieves Laundry Soap. This little bottle um, of Miracle Soap will change your laundry life. Um, it gets your clothes really clean, smells light and fresh, and it and lasts a really long time because we have a hack for this that you can split it into three bottles. Um, and so you're saving money in the long run. That's, that's the idea is to switch things out um, that are toxic to you for things that are non-toxic and doing, doing it in a, an economical way. Skip the fabric softener. Uh, did you know that fabric softeners are one of the most toxic things in your home? So just touch it. Um, a half cup of vinegar added during a rinse cycle will produce the same results without the toxic chemicals. Wool dryer balls are also a popular alternative. I use the, the, the dryer balls in my um, dryer all the time. Um, and then you can add a few drops of your favorite Young Living essential oil for a boost of added scent. Naturally remove stains. Instead of using chemical laden stain removers, simply pre-treat stains with a combination of washing soda, baking soda, and Thieves Household Cleaner. Um, that little bottle of Thieves Household Cleaner once again slips in. I mean, it, it's got so many different purposes. Um, try real brightening. A little baking soda added to the wash cycle will naturally brighten colors without the clingy um, chemicals that can irritate your skin. Frequently clean your washer. This helps get rid of soap scum, bacteria, and other icky things that collect in your machine over time. Simply add some white vinegar into a hot water cycle and run. A clean washer will help keep your clothes smelling fresh and will also detox, detox your machine. So we're not just detoxing our bodies, but we're detoxing everything that comes into contact with our bodies. Um, and I just actually did this last night. <coughs> All right, now we're going to move on to your kitchen. The kitchen is the heart of every home. So switching to a green kitchen is not only good for your wallet or, but um, and the environment. It's also good for your bodies. Um, everything we touch, inhale, eat, and drink has a direct impact on our health. So converting the busiest room in the home is a definite must. We've already discussed these household cleaner, which... Another benefit to these household cleaner when you ditch everything under your kitchen sink and put one or two little bottles underneath there, you create an entire cabinet um, space full of room and now you can store other things. Um, so the Thieves household cleaner um, is a bottle of an all-purpose cleaner and is going to be very easy to switch and very busy in your kitchen. Other kitchen favorites are these dish soap, dishwasher detergent, fruit and veggie spray and soap, which is amazing, um, and the foaming hand soap. So you can ditch all of that stuff out of there. Seedlings, having a baby changes everything. Every parent wants what's best for their children, right? So. That includes taking charge of their wellness from the very beginning. Young Living Seedlings line is the perfect foundation for a life of toxin-free habits. These products are formulated to be naturally gentle, safe, and pure. They are free from harsh chemicals and infused with an, an exclusive calming blend of essential oils. <laughs> One of the, and the funny thing is, is the Seedlings line is, line is not just for babies. My kids are grown, um, but I still buy the baby wipes because when I wear makeup, I use the baby wipes to actually take that makeup off. Um, I will also throw a baby wipe in the dryer as a dryer sheet. So there are many different multi-purpose items, but you can also use them for multi-age things too. Um, they're just very versatile. Um, they're, but the the wipes are actually gentle. They're, they're gentle on their, their faces too. So you can. I know my sister uses them um, to clean her her 
her kids' faces after they're done eating. Yeah, you can even cut them into four and use them as makeup wipes. That's what mm -hmm. I do. I actually cut them up. I use the, them as, like, I, if you already said, I use them as dryer sheets too. I just throw mm -hmm. them in. They can be used as a dryer sheet, like, repeated amounts of times. You don't have to just do them once and throw them away. You can mm -hmm. use them over and over again. Right, right. But the line also has baby oil, baby wash, lotion, um, linen spray, diaper rash cream. I know my sister just used, I think it was the diaper rash cream um, on her daughter who had a really bad um, rash. And it has is completely gone now from what I understand. So, okay. And then we have a kid scent line. Um, more and more parents are looking for safe and effective natural alternatives to support the health and wellness of their growing children. Um, and so it's important that we show our children from a young age that their health is absolutely priceless. Uh, young Living Essential Oils are a fantastic option um, and can be used to support your little ones physically, emotionally, and mentally. And right now, that is extremely important. Um, Young Living has formulated an entire line of essential oil blends and essential oil-infused products that kids love. Um, I think it was, was it the Owie Stick um, that my daughter, or my, she used on my other niece who had uh, cyst cystic something on her, on her skin and that works better than using anything the doctor gave her so yeah um, yeah yes, my son actually has struggled with acne my oldest son and we did go to see a dermatologist to see what they had to offer and we walked out of that doctor's office and i said we will never come here again they told That's us right. that he had to take an antibiotic for six months that wouldn't work but mm -hmm. they had to do it for health insurance and then they were going to put them on a drug so potent that apparently girls have to sign a waiver that they're going to get pregnancy tested before they take it because it causes so many birth defects mm -hmm. and that this topical skin treatment they and then it also was a high up a high suicide rate among people that used it so right. we walked out and i said to him we're going to go home and use our oils and he's used a combination of melrose on his face every day the mm -hmm. charcoal bar soap our acne treatment and then our orange blossom facial wash and he has had dramatic results. I mean, dramatic. Yeah. So he's been super pleased. Yeah. So. And yeah, I agree. It, it's funny how we watch um, commercials every day, you know, when we're watching TV about all these um, different medications and stuff. But if you take this, side effects could include this, yeah, right? this, <laughs> this, this, and this, and it could cause you to die. Um, <laughs> or, or you'll see a commercial about this is, this company is being sued, um, you know, for the side effects that it caused and you could, you know, it, it's just, it's crazy. It's crazy. It is. It is. <laughs> so, and I'm, I, I'm not saying that there's never a cause for medication, but I would sooner try right. my oils first because I know right. they're natural. Yep. Absolutely. <laughs> yeah. All right. And step three. So Young Living is best known for cultivating the most incredible essential oils on the planet, but they offer so much more than just essential oils. Their uncompromised commitment to purity, quality, and integrity is the first priority with all of their products. So remember the seed to seal that we talked about earlier? So their comprehensive line of essential oil infused products is the perfect option for people looking to make a positive lifestyle, lifestyle change. So step three, is all about fully embracing the young living lifestyle and implementing new habits that will contribute to the vitality and longevity of your family. So at the very end of this class, my hope is that you aren't overwhelmed by the transformation because this class can have a lot of information, um, but I hope that you're not overwhelmed by the transformation to come, but rather excited and energized at the idea of your new healthy lifestyle on the horizon. All right, so not a mumber yet. Young Living has a variety of premium starter kits designed specifically to propel you into a toxin-free lifestyle. Now, number three right now is not available. We're not sure if it's gonna come back or not, um, but the Everyday Oils Kit, the Thieves Kit, and the Nature Kit are still available. Um, the Everyday Oils Kit includes 12 of the most popular essential oils, um, and blends, a diffuser, a general sample of Thieves household cleaner, um, Ninx, uh, a couple of packets of Ninja Red, uh, the Thieves 
hand purifier that thieves um, actually it doesn't come with the cleaner it comes with the spray now um, and two roller fitments uh, this is the kit that I started with and the majority of my team have started with I think it's the best bang for your buck and whoever came up with the oils in this kit has to be a genius because these oils are the oils that I use on a regular basis so um, whether it's for me or a family member or friends these oils are incredible. Um, there's the Thieves PSK kit. Um, it's perfect dump start for your new lifestyle. Um, you'll be able to ditch and switch so many items um, with only one purchase. Uh, you can see some of the different things that are included there. It's uh, two Thieves household cleaners, the um, hand wash, uh, the mouthwash, there's um, the hand sanitizer and the, the Thieves spray. Um, the only thing that it does not include right now is the stress away and the nature packets. Um, but the price, you just can't beat the price. The price is incredible for the amount of stuff that you're getting. And then there's the nature red PSK kit. Um, it's super, it's a super food. I just, I'd go nowhere without my Ningxia. I have Ningxia stashed everywhere. <laughs> um, my camper here at the house everywhere. Um, so you experience the benefits of this incredible supplement drink for yourself when you join Young Living with the starter option. Um, everybody should be on Ningxia, and I do go over that pretty heavily in my oils class. All right, so some things to remember. Um, as you move forward and start adding these new products to your daily lineup, here's some advice for me um, and a heads up. Uh, for what to expect. Um, there's no, there are no small swaps. You can, um, whether you take a big trash bag and throw everything away today, or you throw out an item a week until it's finished, each swap you make is positive step forward and you'll have a huge impact on your health. So um, go ahead, give yourself a pat on the back because um, this is a big deal um, and something you should really be proud about. Um, there are, they are not, these are not really swaps, they're upgrades. So for some of these products, you should expect to pay more up front. Um, but cheap comes at a steep cost, um, to your health and it's not a cost we're willing to pay for one day more. And it might be a, a, a larger, um, cost up front, but I'm telling you, you're going to save money in the long run. Um, and the good news at the, is that these products are high quality products and they'll last a really long time um so that's why you're going to save money in the long run so no matter what the cost please know that you're worth it um your kids are worth it your spouse is worth it Every, all of your loved ones are worth it your pets are worth it so whatever the cost whatever sacrifices you need to make your family's health and longevity are worth it expect these products to be different they are a slightly different, so don't let it throw you off. In fact, Stephanie, you just went over this a little bit, I think, this week about that. Um, they're going to look different, feel different, smell different, and act differently because they don't have chemicals in them. But they are going to work fabulously. Um, it might come with a slight learning curve um, because they're different. But that's a really good thing. So without all of these dangerous ingredients, they will not act the same. I just, just for an example, um, my shampoo doesn't lather up like it did because that lather that you get from a normal shampoo is the chemicals reacting to water hitting it. And so I don't want the chemicals. So what I've done is I add actually just a little bit of baking soda to my, um, to my shampoo that gives my brain the thought of lathering, although it's not using the chemicals to do it. So um, there are some little tricks and hints along the way to help that with that. And we have lots of groups that help out with that. Um, you're gonna quickly learn the, ticks, the, the hacks and the, the tricks that we have. Um, and before long, you're just gonna forget the old days and you're never gonna look back. Um, so there's, we're gonna tell you just a little bit on how to get started. There are three different ways to order. Um, 
you can go online and you can order right now and you're gonna you're going to pay retail price um <clears throat> or let me tell you a couple different ways that you can do it cheaper the second way is you can um buy a kit become a member and if you keep that membership renewed you spend fifty dollars a year um you have your kit and you're good to go you're going to get 24 percent off of anything that you buy so you're going to actually buy it at wholesale prices uh 10 times more cheaper at least um but the third third way is my absolutely favorite way um and this is the essential Re rewards program um you buy a kit which is going to get you the 24 percent off um but then you spend fifty dollars a month and I'm gonna tell you, I did not start this way. I started at $50 a year, and I think it was less than a month or two, and I was on ER because it was, I found out rather quickly how much money I was gonna save just by doing ER. Um, because now not only do I get the 24% off, but I get all kinds of stuff free as far as, um, oils and the promotions that they offer every single month the points that you get just by ordering so basically you're going to get um kind of like kohl's cash you're going to get points back that you can spend on product i think i don't think i've spent anything on makeup at all yet because i actually use my points for makeup and it's all free yeah that was the biggest thing for me too i jumped on er from the get-go because i knew that I was going to be ordering every month right away. Like it, I think it's different for different people. I've had people jump on ER after a couple months, jump on right away. It just depends on the person and how soon they're ready to make the change. But mm -hmm. after six years of doing this, I spend 300 a month and get back 75 points every <laughs> month because I get 25% back. So not only am I getting 75% back in points, but I'm also getting all the freebies because I hit that promo tier every month. So you get these yes. free products and free oils. And since I know, and as you go, you learn how to use these oils even more. So it's like every month in the promo, there's some kind of oil that all those oils I'm going to use like citronella. I mean, I make a ton, ton of bug spray yes. um, with three dogs and three kids in the summer. Yes. So like I'll take every free bottle of citronella I can get because you know, I'm making a lot of things. So I think after you've been on the program for a while and you're used to living that young living lifestyle, um, it just becomes so easy. Just like I don't have them right in front of me, but um, I did have them like yesterday. My, I took, I take our laundry soap and I hack it into three di different bottles. You know, yeah. so I'm, I'm super for one. I think it's just one of those things where you have to, you have to just start somewhere and yeah. find out what works for your family and just dive in. So yeah, I totally agree. Essential Rewards is the way to go. <laughs> it really is. It really is. And then on top of it all, they're going to send you free loyalty bottles of oil um, months three, six, nine, and 12, just by being one ER. So um, I always recommend start it start it for a few months, start it for three or four months and see how it works for you. Um, because there's, there's no, um, penalties if you drop back to the $50 a, a year, but it is so worth at least trying it for three months and see what you think. Um, and you, you're going to build up, especially when you're, you're switching out those toxins. It is good to have that extra stuff for the first few months and see, see what you think about it. So, I definitely do recommend starting off with ER. Um, your health is important. So I'm just gonna kind of flip through here some of the um, different kits. Uh, the Ningxia Red Kit um, is $135, but you get so much out of that Ningxia Red Kit. You get two of the large bottles, you get 30 of the, the singles, um, which are two ounces each, by the way. Um, and the Ningxia Nitro, which I just started this week, and it's pretty incredible. Um, did you really? My husband swears by it. <laughs> I did. I don't know that I take it every day, um, but I do. I did try it this week, so it was I one of my I hide my boxes when they come in from him. He he will totally steal them. Yeah, I uh, I I just started, and I only took like half a one. Well, I don't love the taste necessarily, but they work and they're a healthy yeah. alternative. He was drinking seven monsters a day. 
Right. So we finally detoxed him off of that with a lot of different things that we've used natural solutions. You know what I mean? Like right. thing, the nitro, even some coffee, you know what I mean? Yeah. Ice yeah. Tea. Throwing in anything caffeinated we can throw in that isn't a monster. <laughs> so. Right. Well, and it doesn't have that sugar crash at the end either, which is great. That's right. Incredible. Exactly. <laughs> so so just a few things um, to remember. So at this point, you might be thinking, this all sounds great. But how will I afford my new upgraded lifestyle? Remember that your health is an investment, not an expense, but it can become a huge expense if you don't make the investment a priority. Because if you don't change, you're going to end up at the doctor and then think about how expensive that's going to be. Uh, it's going to be a whole lot more expensive than switching out to uh, chemical-free products. So um just and also it's important to to remember that you're you aren't adding expenses to your monthly budget you're just trading out um what you've already budgeted to to safer alternatives from all from young living so it's just a different way of, of buying uh you may pay a little bit more up front but you're going to save money in the long run and not just in your shopping budget but in your long time health care savings too um so real talk let's let's take a look at your budget are there things you can trim for the health of your well-being of your family um of course this is a personal matter each to their own but my families have made room in their budget by eating out less which is pretty easy to do these days um downgrading their cable subscriptions i don't think we've had cable for i don't know five or six years um skipping the morning drive through latte um, take a look at your monthly expenses and see what sacrifices you're willing to make for your long-term wellness. Um, did you know that you could get your monthly order for free by telling your friends and family about Young Living? Um, you're, you've discovered some big truth bombs today and your loved ones deserve to know too. Why would you hide it from them? Um, tell your friends and your family about Young Living. Get them to get their own premium starter kit. Um, and then get them started on essential rewards right away. Share the good news you've learned and you're, you're gonna get a generous thank you um, that can pay for your monthly order and probably more eventually, you know? So where there's a will, there's a way. Um, so if you get a chance, what I want you to do is go to the person who invited you to this video and just chat with them um, and come up with a game plan that a monthly essential rewards order and you know it's possible it is i i was scared at first to be honest with you fifty dollars a month was a lot for us um and then now i'm spending less and making more so it you know it just um it is definitely worth a look into absolutely i'm a huge believer <laughs> yes, absolutely absolutely so um, we've gone over, here's just another, you might want to screenshot this, um, the different things you get for being on Essential Rewards. I just cannot stress Essential Rewards enough um, to at least try. So we did kind of, we, we kind of skimmed over uh, the points, um, but months one through th three, you earn 10% back of the PV that you spend. Months four through 24, you earn 20% back. And then months 25 and beyond, you earn 25% back. So um, I just, and I love the fact that I can go in and change my order. Well, my order changes probably six or seven times every month before it processes. Um, but there's a, there's a flexibility to your shipping date too um, throughout the month. Um, and then of course the promo items. And the groups we have we have an extremely active team um and there's different groups that you can join and we don't just hand you a kit and say here you go now you're on your own we're going to hand you a kit and we're going to say okay come to this class come read this this is going to help you um you know we're going to help you throughout your journey we're not just going to leave you stranded no, ongoing classes all the time. Several class are, classes offered yes. every month. <laughs> absolutely, absolutely. So um, now this is the welcome package that I offer. <coughs> Each um, distributor offers their own welcome package, but I think they're all fairly similar. Um, but we're going to also give you just a little bit extra so that you can get started right away. Mm -hmm.
Yes. I love the pocket reference. I have the big, big Bible version too. There's like yes. a bigger version that you can get too. <laughs> yeah. I have that one. There's, there's multiple books on, on the different, different things. Like I love my supplement book right now. <laughs> um, so, uh, but yeah, your health is an investment rather than expense. You're worth it. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Okay. So I hope that you have all created a wish list of things that you would like. Um, to start switching out, uh, what's the number one product that you can't wait to try? Um, here's some advice from me. When it comes to your next ER order or your essential rewards order, consider buying the Thieves Essential Rewards Kit. You can do that. Um, I have done that. It's definitely a way to save money as well. Um, this bundle of products is exclusive to ER members only. And it's more affordable than buying each item individually. So it's a bargain. Um, and it's a single purchase to swap out so many things. So if you decided you wanted to start with the oils kit, once you start with the oils kit, then you could buy the Essential Rewards Thieves kit. Um, so there's, there's just multiple different ways to, to save money. Absolutely. And I think for me personally, I started out with just like you said, the Thieves Cleaner. And then I went to like shampoo and conditioner and hand soap. I'll be honest with you. I still hack the hand soap. I use the dish soap for my hand soap. I'm, gonna, I'm not going to lie. I was raised in an extremely frugal family. Mm -hmm. So there's some things that I still like. I mean, now the Luscious Lemon hand soap, I have to admit, that is my weakness because it reminds me of the yellow <laughs> dog. Um, but yeah. I, I'm, I, yeah, that's kind of a sick addiction for me with that, uh, luscious lemon hand soap. Absolutely. <laughs> but go ahead. I'm sorry to mean to wrap No, 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 that's okay. Um, I just like to thank everybody for watching our, um, presentation and make sure that you get with the person who sent, sent you to this presentation. Um, and we'd be happy, more than happy to get you started. Um, if there's any questions or comments, please feel free to message us and we will get those questions answered for you. And that's really all I have today. Is there anything you have yet, Stephanie? I'm good. I'm good. Like I said, I just can't wait to welcome them into Oily Uprising. So I'm super yes. pumped about this class. <laughs> so, yes, yes, I am too. I'll let, so I'll let you stop recording. <laughs> so okay. <of> <laughs>